Hey there, Connor from Metabase here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through some new improvements to visualizations in Metabase 50. This is a big release, maybe our biggest ever, with improvements to caching, permissions, search, and time over time comparisons, just to name a few. But for the sake of this demo, let's dig into some new visualization and charting features. We'll start here with stacked bar charts and one of our most highly requested features, stacked combo charts. So now what I can do is quickly go in and change, say, gadget to a line. So now I have a line overlaid on my stacked bar chart. I can tell a much richer story and have a lot more flexibility to kind of break out specific series into lines or areas or keep them as bars. You can also do a lot more with data labels and stack charts. So now if I go to display, I can choose to show these data labels as representing the total of the bar or more granularly, the segments within the bar. So now I can see at a glance, this is how Gizmo is doing across time. Or you can go crazy with data labels and add them both as totals and within the segments themselves. That's stack charts, let's talk line charts. So if I go ahead and remove this, I get back to a line chart and we've added a lot more knobs in terms of visuals for your lines. So if you go over to series style, you can choose to make them dashed, make them dotted, skinny, medium, or bold something. In the case of maybe you have a multi-series line chart and you wanna call out a specific series as important or eye-catching. Also for line charts, more on the maintenance side, we've added the ability to unpin auto y-axis ranges from zero. So let's go ahead and scale this series up a bit. And now if you choose to unpin with this from zero, you can see how it scales up with my data. So I get that zoomed in view of the variance going on in my line chart without having to maintain static ranges. So that is a quick overview of things on the feature side. Last but not least, there's tons of improvements in this release on the quality side, the biggest of which is around dashboard subscriptions. So next time you fire off a subscription to your email or to your team Slack channel, your charts are gonna look a heck of a lot closer to what you see in product, which is these beautiful charts that you've come to know and love. There's also tons of other bug fixes kind of slotted in, but subscriptions is the one that I think we're the most proud of. All right, so that was my quick tour of visualization improvements in Metabase. Um, we know it's frustrating when your tool is putting limits on what you can create. So our teams worked very hard to remove more of these limitations and help you create more effective visualizations with the same ease that you've come to, to know in Metabase. So give these new features a spin and check out the release notes for more details on what's to come. Thank you.